Google's new Chromecast with Google TV is out in users' hands, and it's been well received mainly because of the fact that it has a remote control and a UI on screen. So that means it's the easiest Chromecast for most people to use. But that doesn't mean that people are without questions. And one of those questions is how to get apps onto this Chromecast when they don't appear in the Play Store. And so today, we wanna to show you how you can do that. Okay, so here we are at the main screen for your Chromecast. And to get this whole thing working where you can sideload applications, it only takes a few steps. The first thing is you need a file browser to put on the Chromecast that can handle cloud-based files so that once you have whatever application it is you would like to sideload, today we're just gonna use the latest Stadia application, even though Stadia still doesn't work that well uh, on this Chromecast. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's one I'm sure a lot of people want to try, so that's the one we went and grabbed. We went to APK Mirror, but you can grab your APK wherever it is you want to get your APK from. Uh, again, this isn't for any particular app. As long as you have your app and you have your file, what you need to do is go ahead and put it into Google Drive, into a folder that you're going to be able to find. So once you've done that and you've got your application, the APK is sitting there ready for you to install, you need to get that file browser here on the Chromecast. So what I've found works best so far, for me at least, is an app called File Commander. So we're gonna get that installed first. Install File Commander from the Play Store. Here's File Commander, File Manager and Free Cloud on the Google Play Store. And this is one of those apps, you can use it for free and you can remove ads if you want to, if you wanna pay for it later, but I've found no reason to do that if the main reason you're using it is just to sideload applications. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and you'll get your nice little splash screen saying, hey, welcome to File Commander. And right off the top here, we get the option to select Cloud. Yes, I want to allow it to manipulate files. And we're gonna go down to Google Drive. And it's going to link up the same Google Drive account that you have logged into your Chromecast. So keep that in mind when you're placing that APK into your Google Drive account. But you could use Box or Dropbox if you wanted to as well. Now, once we're in that spot, if I go to try at this point to pull up my drive and open up the APK and install it, it's going to fail because there's a couple other steps that we need to do first. So what we're gonna do is head home and then go all the way up to the top, to the far right, and this is where you will access your settings. So the first thing we need to do is enable developer mode. And so we're gonna go to system, about, and go all the way down here to the build. So Android TV OS build and keep clicking that center button until you see it say you're now a developer. From there, we'll back out a couple times. We're gonna go up to apps and then we're gonna go down to security and restrictions, unknown sources and select file commander to be allowed to uninstall unknown apps, which obviously is what we want to do. So now that's done, we can go back to our applications again and then open up File Commander. And now what we want to do is go to the Drive folder. I put mine in one just called Temp. And you'll have to kind of futz around with this just a little bit, like you have to kind of move over to the right and then down to get to it to highlight it first. So uh, sometimes it's easy to lose that cursor. Just keep moving around, you'll eventually find it. So we're gonna go into the Temp folder and you can see right up top here, uh, there we go. I'm gonna click this and it's gonna start staging and installing the application. Once it sits there for just a second, it's gonna bring up hopefully the logo of the application you were looking for. This is Stadia and it's gonna ask you if you want to install the application. We're gonna click over it, hit install, and the app should install, assuming it's a normal size, you know, smaller application. This shouldn't take too long. Again, remember, the Chromecast is not wildly powerful, so some of this stuff takes a little bit longer than you might be used to on a phone. And then once we're done, we can either hit done and you can exit this and go back to your home screen or we can hit open. For right now, I'm gonna hit done, just hit home. And just to show you, once we go to all our apps, you see Stadia right there and now I can launch it. And again, Stadia isn't quite ready. Um, I don't even know if, yeah, I can't even <laughs> select get started. So for all those out there saying that Stadia works just fine on this Chromecast, this is a perfect example. Uh, if I hook up a Bluetooth controller, it might work, but uh, for right now, 
unless I have a mouse keyboard and all that kind of stuff, I can't even get past the splash screen, but it will actually load up, it'll open and all that kind of stuff. So really, while this may not be the best uh, tutorial for installing Stadia necessarily, there's probably a handful of apps that people want to get or try or test on this new Chromecast that you just can't get in the Play Store. It says that this application is not valid on your device. And so you can't do it through the Play Store. This is the only way to go about getting it to be on here. And there are certain apps that might run pretty well on here uh, once you get them sideloaded. And if you've been looking for a way to get stuff sideloaded without having to hook up a bunch of cables, this is your route. A couple of steps, a couple of app installs, and boom, you're ready to go. But guys, that's it for this one. Hope it helped you out. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell that's right next to that if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time. We'll see you.